everyone imagine you are driving across a traffic light you see it just showing amber before you could go it turns to red and you still move on and drive not minding you, you, you to you beat your chest that i, I crossed the light yeah, was smart. not minding what you could have caused the accident and all that you see some of these laws are to protect you primarily and those around you are have to be responsible about it exactly. to, to benefit from that exactly. welcome to relationship clinic and i'm rich and my wife angel baby is here yes, this is powered by keep marriage and life initiative and today we are talking about citizenship, citizenship. as a lifestyle ah, okay yeah. and um you know citizenship sometimes we will blame the society for what's going on especially with the elections and things that have happened in nigeria we forget to take responsibility of our own part so in line with that we're talking about citizenship citizenship does not begin in school does not begin in society it is right here in your home mm, yeah so and citizenship is based on rules rules that safeguard life and both the leaders and everyone in the family has to participate in those rules yeah. and make clear consequences of disobeying those rules. it actually starts by you knowing the rules mm -hmm. being aware understanding them so you can apply and act on those rules exactly. ignorance is not an excuse exactly really. so for us now home we have certain rules like we don't use the f word you are not permitted to lie if See, if you lie, your consequences of lying is worse than when what, you, what about you did. It? That's how it is now, house and it's clear. There are rules that pertain to us that our children can call us to order if we disobey those rules. So accountability seems to be part of citizenship. Also, yes. being active. You, you're not allowed to be passive in citizenship. Exactly. No, no, no. no. Exactly. It's like taking ownership. Exactly. Being responsible of your own part. So you can't be passive. You can't be idle about it. You have to be very active. You know, so we're looking at citizenship from the participatory section and the yes. being a partaker of the dividends. There are dividends of being a good citizen. You will not go to jail. You will be recognized. Even at, sometimes you're even awarded yes. for the things you contributed to society. But this thing does not begin in society. It begins in, in the home. What are the examples you're setting for your children? What are the rules you're engaging yeah. in? And involves a lot of discipline too. Exactly. To apply yourself to the laws. You know? So when you sit down and you don't even involve your children to understand. And I think the, the, the bane of this conversation is that families no longer understand that they are the foundation of every citizen's value and yeah. character display. Yeah. You know, so we have leaders in Africa, actually in Nigeria, where we come from, who have the tendency to create uh, laws, laws that they, they do not yes. adhere to. They, they seem to live above the law. But you know that thing did not start in the society. It started at, at home. home. Where fathers especially... Can and I say mothers that? too. They set a rule. They yes, don't do it. They don't do they it. They say don't lie. But when they come ask them, tell, tell them I'm, I'm not, not around. around. You know? So what are the rules that guide your home? Is the, is the rules just for the children? Are you a participant of those rules? And what are the consequences for disobedience? And what is the reward for obeying? These are very key issues we must discuss as a family. And then when these children go out and we go out, we carry that. Someone said to me, whose son are you? So there are two people I tell my children that, I, that you should um, reflect. I said, reflect Christ in all your doings. I remember the family you are coming from. I don't think parents say that anymore. Because even the family we are coming from, as far as you bring money from any sort of life, they reward you. You shouldn't be so. We should call people to order. And when you are put in an office, you understand that you're a reflection of the people that have voted you in, an inflation of the bigger community. I think we need to go back to the drawing board as citizens of the nation, yeah. as citizens of the families we belong to, and begin to address it. What's your vision? What are the values? How does it translate to the bigger society? And the leaders must be held responsible. You can't go, you, you take decisions that will favor the nation and the citizens of the nation. You can't say because of greed, you say, no, this will not come here, so that you'll be enriched against the nation. So my final words is, if your drink cannot call you to order, you have missed the sense of citizenship. We need to begin to call ourselves to order, so that when we are given spaces in the society, we can listen and be accountable. Thank By the way, um, I hope you're, you know that right now we are doing our care empowerment yeah. school. I hope you're part of it, um, and I hope you're following us. It's been fun, enjoying it. I also want to remind you that this is our social media handle, this is YouTube 
Keeping Marriage Alive Initiative NG Rich. Okay, and we're on Facebook and Instagram, Keeping Marriage Alive. Our WhatsApp is plus 23470-8876-5212. Send us an email, keepingmarriagealive at gmail.com or info at keepingmarriagealive.com. We want to hear from you. Let's relate and let's build a healthier society. Uh -huh.